Hey everybody, Norm from Tested here. And remember last week when Adam unboxed in the cave and put on this magnificent suit of armor from the movie, The Great Wall, one of 180 suits of armor on auction right now from our friends at Prop Store. Well, and now I have my own suit of armor. Prop Store was generous enough to send up this suit of Black Bear core armor for me to try on. And I gotta say, it fits and feels incredibly well. Uh, there are, as Adam mentioned, over 180 different suits of armor available for auction right now. And if you're thinking about browsing, I highly encourage you to do so, even if you haven't seen the film, because there's just a wide array of different styles. Let me give you a little bit of, of background. So in the story of the Great Wall, there's of course this whole army that's assembled, the Nameless Order, to defend China from the horde of these monsters. And in the Nameless Order, there are five different core, identified not only by the animals that signify them, but also their color scheme. There's of course the Tiger Core that Adam wore that brilliant gold armor from. They're like the army of last resort, the artillery, they operate the giant mechanisms that the Blue Crane Core use to then dive down with their crane-like spears to stab the monsters. And then there's also the Red Eagle Corps, the archers, which have a slightly des different design as well. And they have, of course, different weapons. There is the Purple Deer Corps, and that's the cavalry. And then what I'm wearing, this is the Black Bear Corps, the frontline infantry. And in fact, I think there are about 50 of these suits of armor in the auction. Now, yeah, they look different in terms of color, but there are also a lot of similarities and subtle differences. Of course, if you look up close, they have that similar style, that triangular male that Adam pointed out, and they all have the helmets, and of course the shields have the different creatures on them, but there are also some subtle differences like the pauldrons, because for something like the Red Eagle Corps, the archers, they have smaller pauldrons, more sculpted, so you can pull back to the quivers and pull the arrows. That makes a lot of sense. But the leather work, the different layering of textures, even this costume, which is monochromatic, it's, it's black. Get up close and you can see all the different materials that were used to layer up this costume, and even the paint finishes to make this look like it's iron or steel. It's all there. That's incredible hammering and weathering in this relatively lightweight helmet. In addition to the armor, there are also hundreds of props and stunt and hero weapons that are part of this auction. I was actually able to go down to Prop Store's headquarters, did a close look at some of them, and what a workshop. Peter Lyons' team did such an incredible job with those hero swords. These aluminum swords, they have some hard urethane ones, and you have things like crossbows with working mechanisms. I even saw a giant scorpion that's larger than life that, yeah, pulls back and has working functionality. I can't believe someone's actually gonna take that home. Now something you're gonna be able to take home, and while we're doing this video, is this shield here, because Prop Store is letting us give away this deer core shield to one of you out there. All you have to do is post a comment in the comment section below, and I'm gonna pick a random winner to mail this out to. Now, the armors are available for auction now. Click the link in the description, and I encourage you to check it out, because last I checked, the prices weren't that bad. It's actually pretty attainable, 100% wearable. Don't need to just put this in the display case, and this is something that you could definitely take to your next con. So that's what I'll be doing, and hope to see you out there or on the battlefield.